Okay, so what did we learn in this section? Well, we finally got to dig into the IDT and see what interrupt gates looked like, and those interrupt gates can pass through and reference some segment descriptors because they have far pointers in there. So there's a segment selector in the interrupt uh, descriptor which references a segment descriptor, which in turn ultimately says here is some segment of memory, which practically speaking is always going to be base of zero and maximum size of 2 to the 64 minus 1. But the different interrupts could have different priv privilege levels. We also saw a trap gate is the exact same thing as an interrupt gate, except that it's going to behave differently with the interrupt flag that we'll talk about next. So in the IDT, you can have a trap gate, and we already covered, you know, this particular one they're showing pointing at an LDT, LDT pointing at some segment. So let's go ahead and fill that in as well. Also, these interrupts, we saw the IST and the TSS being used for one way to set the stack pointer on the interrupt.